new phone time. This is an iPhone 15, blue, 256 gigabyte. However, this is not for me. This is for my mom. I'm currently keeping this iPhone 14 Pro, which I have recently, actually just 30 minutes ago, switched this to T-Mobile. So this is a T-Mobile phone. I used to have Verizon. Verizon was crap. Switched to T-Mobile and it's a lot better. So this is actually gonna be my mom's phone because she's coming from an iPhone 11 and the battery on that iPhone 11 is completely shot. So let's just unbox it. So on the back it says iPhone 15 blue, 256 gigabyte. Peel the tab. The other tab. Le box. So on top, we got the phone. Look at this blue. This is blue, but it's almost not blue. It's like a white almost. Set this to the side. We have a USB-C to USB-C cable because the iPhone 15s are USB-C now. Thank God. And we have an Apple sticker and our usual manuals. Although no SIM card ejector because every phone newer than the iPhone 14 has eSIM. So that's all you get in the box. It is an extremely simple package. That's it. The regular 15s now actually do get the dynamic island, but they don't have the 120 Hertz display and the always on screen that the 14 Pros had. Let's just do this magnificent peel. And let's just power it on. So one thing I noticed right off the bat is that the corners are way more rounded off than the 14s. And it's super light compared to my uh, 14 Pro because, well, for one, this is aluminum and um, it's a lot lighter. Also, this has frosted back glass, which the 14 standards did not have frosted back glass, but it's already on. Wow, that was fast. English, United States, appearance, and then quick setup. So let's go grab my mom's iPhone Okay, so I have my mom's iPhone 11 that has 7% charge. So, um, yeah, I need to plug that in. That's going to die if I don't use the little thing right here. Sorry, the exposure is crap. <laughs> Set up for me. The iPhone may take a few minutes to activate. Here we go. It says setting up cellular. Now, what we did do with this is that we changed this phone over to T-Mobile, but we don't know if this phone is actually going to carry the number that the current iPhone 11 has, which is a different number than this phone should have by default. The way T-Mobile did, oh, it does carry it. Nice. So it does need to software update, but we'll update it later. Data privacy, continue. Can't get over how light this phone is. It is super light. Set up later, set up Face ID later. Okay, so let's transfer from another iPhone. So I guess we can transfer. Well, actually, I'll ask her. Okay, so I just asked her and she said she wanted to transfer absolutely everything. So let's do that. Yeah, okay, there we go. Set up Face ID later from another iPhone. Looking for nearby devices. Let's turn this guy off and back on again. Unlock to continue. Set up new iPhone. I gotta blur that freaking email. Or actually, you can't even freaking see it. And then it should automatically transfer everything. Yeah, I already clicked setup for me. Yeah, I know it can't be added because it's not... Yeah, it's already it already has the signal bars because it already used the eSIM code. Anyway, while while this is going, I might as well install a screen protector because you know that's gonna keep this phone nice and uh, you know shatter free and scratch free. So I'm going to install a screen protector. Let's make sure the brightness is all the way up. Oh, I can't change the brightness. Wipe the screen with the wet wipe. Wipe it with the dry wipe down. Okay, and then. Do the dust sticker. And then do the actual screen protector installation. Whoa. This is the backside, right? Why is it not peeling the film off? I don't know why it's not peeling the film away. Oh, I just touched the screen now. Dang it. Okay, here we go, here we go. I got it, I got it. I got the film off. Then let's line this up. Oh no. Okay, that's as good as it's gonna get. I'm gonna stop messing with it before I royally mess it up. Screen protector, good. It's not my best screen protector install, but it'll do. So the screen protector is installed. Okay, there's a few little air bubbles in there. I mean, they're not super visible, but it's okay. Anyway, we have some other accessories for it. So we have case, a clear case. So we got a case to put on it, clear MagSafe case. Plunk this guy in here to keep it protected from the elements and your grubby finger. Nice clear case. And then we also got a magnetic pop socket, which is a great feature because these newer phones have MagSafe. You get this little magnetic thingamabob. All right, there we go. Pull out the pop socket. 
just snaps on there very aggressively and magnetically. And oh, that is super strong, super duper strong magnets. So that ain't go that ain't going anywhere. That is perfect. I didn't expect the magnets to be that strong, honestly. I guess it will come back and finish recording when this thing is done updating and syncing to this phone. Okay, we finished the setup and it is on now. I couldn't actually transfer the data from this phone. I had to do a, uh, a independent uh, install because the iPhone 11 was just not wanting to cooperate with this thing. So we just did a fresh install, but all her pictures are still here via iCloud. So that is fantastic. There you go, syncing everything. Uh, all her contacts, all her contacts synced on her contacts list. So that's great. All of her apps, we downloaded all the apps she needs. So that's good. So basically everything works. Camera works pretty good. Pretty good looking camera. Uh, photos on the rear camera. 48 megapixel rear camera sensor. So you can go up to 4K 60. 24 megapixels photos rather than the 12 megapixel photos. Anyway, the iPhone 15, it's, it was super easy to set up if you do an independent setup. In my experience, when I was setting it up, transferring from another iPhone, which might be the other iPhone's fault because it was really old and slow, it didn't want to work. But at least if you skip that, all your contacts and images will sync over via iCloud. So that's basically all she wanted. And so she was okay with me just setting it up like this. But yeah, that was a quick iPhone 14 unboxing and setup. Hope you guys enjoyed it. It's a pretty simple video. See y'all in the next one.